I want to get more of an H3, then I have to balance the temperature in such a way that I get a high yield of NH3 and I also get a high rate of reaction because in industry time is of utmost importance and uh, uh, if you see over here then we have a conflict because if I increase temperature then even though my rate of reaction is fast even though the rate of reaction is fast upon increasing temperature my equilibrium will lie towards the left because the forward reaction is exothermic which means my back reaction is endothermic and an increase in temperature favors endothermic side of reaction. So the yield of NH3 will be very low because as I increase temperature more of N2 and H2 will be formed. So to keep the rate high as well as the yield of NH3 high then I have to balance the temperature in such a way that I get a high yield and I also get a high rate. So this is very important in industry and that's why there is a, always a conflict between equilibrium and between the reaction kinetics because the rate of reaction is favored by one aspect but the same aspect is not favoring the yield. It is an increase in temperature is uh, raising the rate of reaction but it is lowering the yield of ammonia. So I need to choose the temperature in such a way that the yield is also high and the rate is also high. And with this we have completed uh, equilibria. Uh, we will be doing more about equilibria uh, uh, and things like solubility, acids and bases, everything uh, in the next playlist which will be on further aspects of equilibria. Uh, we, will be do, we will do more on acid base uh, titrations and things like that. So um, that will be that will cover the A-level syllabus for equilibria. Right now we have done chemical equilibria and in the next video we will be focusing more on acid base equilibria and uh, we will looking at some more we will be looking at some more aspects of equilibria. So stay tuned and uh, revise well, do the papers, uh, do past papers and practice questions. Uh, I have given the link for gcguide.org where you can find A-level and AS-level past papers and uh, you can email me your doubts um, to at a level chemistry for a, a level chemistry free at gmail.com the link the email id and the link for the past papers both are in the description i hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching